Today, I'm gonna to give you the scoop on two aerial surveying payloads for the DJI Matrice 300, the P1 and the L1. Stay tuned because you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Here they are, the P1 and L1. Both of these payloads are for aerial surveying, but as you can tell from their appearance, both use different technology to capture data. The P1 uses traditional camera sensor tech to take tons of images which are stitched together to make 3D images. That's why it looks more like a traditional camera. On the other hand, the L1 does not. While it also incorporates traditional image capture technology, underneath this facade, it houses a lighter sensor to capture point cloud data. This is done by using lasers to measure the distance from the lighter sensor to an object at a rate of up to 480,000 points per second. Each of these technologies have their place, so let's break them down. Now both payloads capture very high resolution images. The L1 uses a 20 megapixel sensor and its built-in fixed lens to colorize those 480,000 LiDAR points. And on the P1, it uses a superior full-frame 35 millimeter sensor with a whopping 45 million pixels. With the size of the sensor, each pixel is able to be larger at 4.4 micrometers, which gives the P1 the ability to take images with very low noise. From there, you have your choice of three incredibly sharp lenses to adapt to the specific needs of your workflow. Now, let's talk about accuracy. The L1 has an accuracy of five centimeters vertically and 10 centimeters horizontally, but the P1 edges it out in this department, boasting three centimeter accuracy horizontally and five centimeters vertically. So both of these payloads are highly accurate, but how quickly can they get the job done? Both payloads have global mechanical shutters that make them ideal choices for capturing images without motion blur or distortion. To put it in numbers, the L1 is able to capture two square kilometers in a single flight, which is crazy efficient. But again, it's outgunned by the P1, which is able to capture a still image every 0.7 seconds and map a three kilometer area in a single flight. But the L1 has a live view of the models it makes, while the P1's models have to be made later on a computer, so it takes a while to get that info. While LiDAR does increase the L1's price, it offers some significant advantages over the photogrammetry limited missions of the P1. Because LiDAR doesn't need visible light to operate, it allows the L1 to work effectively in conditions where the photogrammetry capture of the P1 may have difficulty. The L1 can work in fog, low light, and even no light conditions where the P1 would struggle to capture data accurately. The other task that LiDAR is really good at is being able to capture data through tree canopies and vegetation, making it the best technology for capturing detailed topographical data like vegetation. So now you should have a good idea of which one of these incredible payloads might be for you. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, email us or hit up dronefly.com and our experts can help point you in the right direction. That's it for now. My name's Daniel and I'll see you next time.